we are entering this, what do you call this place? Lamanai Chocolate. Lamanai Chocolate. So what is this about? Please tell us. Well, you will see uh, uh, chocolate where we sell it, and have a shop, with the drinks, and everything there. Okay. So, so you can follow me? Yes. This is another place we are visiting today so Belizeans can know where to go when you have free time. And we have this lady who is showing us around. Okay. Hands. Hola, hola. Okay. Hey, Colton. Come here, you got company. All right, today we are at the Wamanai well, Chocolate Company. Uh, let us have a chat with the manager, the owner. Tell us about this place. Well, our place is a little unique. Uh, we are a chocolate company and a coffee company but our chocolate is completely different from any chocolate you've ever had. Okay. We, our chocolate is made partially like the ancients made it. We like to keep it raw, uh, but we do add honey to it and coconut and a few other flavors. But the important thing with our chocolate is it's not processed. The Mayas uh, use chocolate and the Aztecs and the Incas and the Olmec for one reason. That was because of a very special drug in it called Theobromine. Yep. Now the Greeks called it Theobromine, but Theo means God, Broma means seed. But the reason they named it that is because it has three methyl groups. That means it can't go in your nervous system. Caffeine has two. It can go in your nervous system. Caffeine reduces your blood flow to your brain 22% to 30%. Theobromine increases your blood flow by 10%. And we also put many herbs in the jungle here. There's 1,300 herbs that the Mayas used. Mm -hmm. And we uh, dry those, uh, many of them, and put them in the candy bar. We call them edibles. Oh, okay. And uh, it makes a very uh, tasty, uh, healthy treat. And uh, even my five-year-old son uh, loves to eat them. And he'll choose that over a Hershey bar, believe it or not. That's how good they are. So that's uh, our little company in a nutshell, and I hope you come to visit us. Yes, because you saw us around and... Sure. So what you have here? Yes, sir. So we can have the Belizeans and uh, out of Belize to see what Belize offers. Yeah. Well, this is the candy bar that I just told you about. Okay. And this is our most popular. It's honey, coconut, almond, and uh, cacao. Uh, it's uh, very chocolatey, but it's very uh, lightly processed. Okay. I'm going to give the cameraman a okay. uh, taste Give a little there. taste? Yeah, he mm. can give me his unbiased opinion. Mm. Different from the, the other chocolates you could buy on the stores, definitely. Much so, yeah. This is um, what you call it, organic? It's organic, yes, but it's unprocessed. Unprocessed, so, exactly. Yes. So there's two processes that the big companies do that practically ruin the health benefits of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Because the one drug, as I just mentioned, theobromine, you want to keep in there. Mm -hmm. It has more iron than any plant on earth. It has manganese, magnesium, selenium, zinc, copper. It has 300 constituents in it. It is the most, most healthy food mm -hmm. on the planet mm -hmm. until it's processed. Now the okay. two things that the big boys do is they use alkaline to remove the cocoa butter. Mm. That's the worst thing you could do. Mm -hmm. They do that to stabilize it so it doesn't bleed out of the candy bar. Mm. We don't care about that. Yes. We want our, our cocoa butter to bleed out. It looks even nicer when yes. it's bled out and, mm. and uh, cooled off. And then the second thing we don't do is temper it. So our beans, we actually ferment them, we dry them, we roast them and we grind them and that's all. So you're eating a, a natural raw plant okay, food. With, with all its natural ingredients. Yes. And of course they're healthy compared to the, <coughs> the ones that are processed by the thousands. Exactly. You know? Yeah. All handmade. 
Okay. <coughs> and, and you, oh wow, you use the ancient tools here, like this one here. Oh, we do. This is my mother-in-law's. Oh. Okay. Okay. She's, uh, she's thrown that at me a few times. So far, she's missed. <laughs> this one. This is a bigger uh, one. This one was found in an orange grove oh. uh, with both of these stones next to it. Wonderful. And we have the permission to use this in our uh, in our uh, chocolate experience. Yes. This was found in a ruin, mm. and we also have permission to use this one also. Yes, because it's mainly for the production of yes. this your, your, your chocolate. Grab, can you grab me the nibs over there? Or I can grab them real quick if you don't. So, this is the cacao bean, mm -hmm. and this young man uh, here uh, probably knows more about this than I do. Uh, but this is the bean, and uh, we've fermented this bean in its natural juices. We've yes. dried it and we've roasted it. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it's unevenly roasted, and that's because it's been uh, roasted over a on a clay uh, kamal. Oh, okay. So we remove the shell, and then you're left with the bean, the inside of the bean. Okay. This is called the nib. The nib. Yes, nibs are becoming very familiar with people. But if you eat a nib from a large commercial uh, producer, mm -hmm. it'll be very hard. Uh, it's very hard and um, not uh, as, as tasty as this one. This okay. one is uh, roasted over a fire and it's very crunchy. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Very nice. And this one here. So once we um, crush all these. Mm -hmm. So from here, this becomes crushed. Oh, you use your. Yeah. From here, we crush them. The reason we crush, crush them uh -huh. is so we can get the shells off. Oh, okay. And then typically we would drop it in front of a fan, but. And the shells would. Fly off. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the, the, the nut would stay in there. Yeah. Mm. Well, then. That's the next process here. What we do now for the jungle it's a little cool now, it's a little cool out today so these might not grind grind into a paste like they normally would like uh -huh. it's really hot out but uh -huh. next level is No sophisticated machinery, just the yes, yeah. ancient equipment that the Mayas used to use. Chocolate? Hey Colton, I need a spoon. Can you get me one? Okay. This is my assistant, Colton Lee. Oh, right wow. Off. <laughs> my son, Colton. <laughs> So then, now if you eat it like this, it'll be pretty bitter, but extremely uh -huh. good for you like uh -huh. this. That's it in natural state. Natural, yes. No, no additives, no nothing. No. Oh wow. Okay, let's taste it here. Yeah? Now, if you want to look up the health benefits of chocolate, you. For this particular chocolate, you don't put in you don't put in health benefits of, of dark chocolate. Uh -huh. You put in health benefits of raw cacao. You'll get a completely mm. different uh, study, uh -huh. uh, or put in constituents of raw cacao. That's your best bet. And then you'll find some very interesting studies on this. 
So in this bitterness that we taste is where the all the natural ingredients. Yeah, that's the alkaline taste. The alkaline taste. The theobromine is a little bitter. Uh huh. Uh, but the way to get rid of that. A little cane sugar in there. Oh, the brown sugar. Yes. No refined sugar. No. Most of our products are made with honey, uh, not oh. sugar. Mm -hmm. so we do make some with the cane sugar, like this one. Uh, but we don't use refined sugar in any of our products. Mm -hmm. And most of the time we just use honey. Okay. Our honey is raw. It's from uh, Belize. Okay. That's yeah, our coconut, the cacao, everything. Okay. Coffee. So, now if it was a little warmer out, like I said, this would yes, be it is, a it liquid. Is. Yes. It looks more like a little paste, huh? Yeah, a little paste. Mm. So that with the sugar takes away a little bit of the the bitterness, huh? Oh yeah. Mmm. Hello, how are you? Hello. 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 Mix is brown sugar. Mm -hmm. It's brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Drink to go. Have a taste. To go. Thank you. You want to try it? Yeah, the cacao pods, huh? Yeah, this these are the cacao pods. Yeah, these are um, uh, our artist makes these. Oh, okay. Uh, and he brings cool. them by here, and we sell them for him. Okay. Uh, they're actually banks. Yes, yes, money, money bank. Yeah, little bank. Yes, an artistic. Yeah. Thing looking like a yeah, it's a uh, bought the pods. Yeah. Okay, and so this is these are our candy bars, mm -hmm. and um, we're just getting new uh, labels. These are the labels that we'll be selling. Um, the Lamanai. The, the Lamanai chocolate. We'll be selling the, the in these bar, uh, bars uh, outside of the country in the U.S. and Canada. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is the uh, molecular makeup of um, the bromine. Yes. Yep. So this is for export only, or would it be sold here at the local market? Sold here, yeah. Sold okay. Here also. Mm -hmm. and this, this? These are uh, sugar-crusted nibs. Sugar-crusted nibs. Yeah. These are the, mm -hmm. the chocolate nib, the natural nib, uh, with some cane sugar. Okay. And some flavoring. We have about a dozen different flavors. Uh, cinnamon, caramel, uh, strawberry, uh, all kinds of delicious. Okay, and, and this one is the... Caramel, caramel crusted yeah, caramel. chocolate nibs. This one here, second yeah. one. Also have a, and so, oh, you have banana. Banana says here, yes, banana crusted. Yeah. Okay, there you have it. Mm. Organic yeah. stone. This is the no. uh, artisan chocolate, the chocolate that I just ground on the stone. Uh -huh. That's basically what this is. Okay. Some people like to eat it, but it's very grainy. Yes, yes. And so the best way um, really to use it would be to make a cup of hot chocolate out of it. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Okay, and on this side we have. Well, when I came here, uh, mm -hmm. I was uh, very sick. Really? I was, yes, I was very sick. I was actually dying. Mm. Um, I'd had bleeding ulcers for 14 years, and the doctors said there's really just not much more they could do to help me. Mm. And so I took a big chance in coming here. I mm -hmm. really didn't think I was going to live long, neither mm -hmm. did they. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually, after a few months, I had been in bed for three months. Wow. And uh, been to the emergency room, and the local people kept telling me to drink the leaf of the cashew tree. Oh. And I said, no, I don't think so. I, 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 I'm afraid it was going to kill me. And so I waited, and uh, eventually the pain got so bad, and I really uh, didn't care whether I lived or died. <laughs> so I drank a cup. Mm. I didn't feel better the next day. I didn't feel better the next week. I felt Im immediately better. When the oh. tea hit my stomach, I immediately felt just a tiny bit better, just enough to know that, that, that it was working. Something was positive going yes. on. And so I was obviously very excited yes. and continued to drink it. That was uh, eight years ago. Not only did it get rid of that episode, 
it healed me completely. Wow. I no longer have bleeding ulcers, and I know that because I can eat uh, habanero peppers, which mm. I do three times a mm. day. Uh, I love them. Um, I drink coffee. I eat meat. I do all those things I'm not supposed to do. Mm. And I have no ill effects. In the past, that would have sent me into a really bad episode. Oh my. So, I have studied intensely uh, hundreds of these uh, herbs here in the jungle. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I uh, have a friend who's a bush doctor who um, also studied in LA okay. uh, with uh, the university there and so she grew up with these things and then she studied the chemical makeup mm -hmm. and uh, we follow the entire process uh, mm -hmm. from the plant to the pill that's okay. made. Uh, and I found uh, that they actually work as well or better than the pill mm -hmm. in, in the plant. Mm -hmm. So uh, for, the, for instance this one here is for um, uh, blood sugar levels. Yeah. It, it uh, relieves um, painful symptoms of uh, menstruation. It reduces inflammation. Uh, it prevents uh, prostate cancer and high blood pressure. Wow. And that's true of many of these plants. Mm -hmm. uh, most of your plants, uh, uh, the uh, medicine is in the leaf of the plant. So all of your fruit trees, uh, the medicine is in the leaf. In the leaves, you have 300 to 400 constituents in each leaf, and pharmaceutical companies remove the chemicals no. and test them and make their pills. But they're actually all together in that leaf for a reason, and so that's how we take them. Uh, some of them have saved my life on other issues. I've, I've had very bad cuts. This is mm. a very bad cut, and there's a plant called poly redhead, mm. and it stops bleeding immediately, <clears throat> and it also kills infection. Wow. So, <clears throat> now this one, I won't go through all of the plants yes, because yes, we'll yes. be here all day. Yes. But this one in particular is called the blue pea vine. Now, the scientist had a little bit of a sense of humor when he uh, named this one the genus name. Mm -hmm. He called it Clitoria ternacea. Mm. But most people know it as blue pea vine, and it's getting very popular with the young people in the United States. And I have to say, I'm proud of them. This is way better than Tide Pods, let me tell you. Mm. Uh, this will actually increase the blood flow to your capillaries under your skin. Really? It heals retina damage and helps your body to uh, produce collagen, which means it'll keep your hair from turning gray. I found it a little late. <laughs> uh, but the kids love it because it is a beautiful blue color, and that's why I love it too. I love the blue azure color of the mm. tea. I drink a quart of this a day and a raw cacao tea, and then uh, and one other tea that, which they um, mix up for me every day, uh, mm. one new one, so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful. So there you have it, the Cacao Place, right on the Hummingbird Highway. Yes, sir, right? mile 44 Hummingbird Highway, Belize. Okay. And I, how are you open every day or the special days? No, every day. Uh, every day from uh, five until, uh, well, no, we open up around uh, seven or eight and then close at five. So you give us a number or an email or Facebook page. Are you you're on, on the Facebook or? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're under uh, Lamanai Chocolate. Okay. Uh, and the phone number is 635-1016. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, you can find us on Facebook. Just put in Lamanai uh, and Chocolate and our Facebook page will pop up and we have a website. We ship all over the world oh, wow. okay. and we do tours here and uh, we have also been the location for the filming of Naked and Afraid oh. and actually earlier today coincidentally they filmed uh, Survivor Man here oh. and now the most famous man is here filming me right now. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> all right. Yeah you just missed uh, Survivor Man. <laughs> Yeah, just to lower it. Okay, your uh, the chemical in a avocado leaf uses uh, another kind of chemical to lower it. So they all do it in a different way. So it's going to depend on what leaf that works best for you. So the best thing to do would be to use several of them in different amounts of time and see which one works for you. Uh, chaya, you know, you make a tea out of it and drink it. It's okay to eat it too, mm -hmm. but definitely drink the water from it. And then try your guava, try your blue pea vine, you know, see which one. I, I'm not educated enough on diabetes or the disease to know, I know different people have different um, uh, effects from the diabetes.
Ciao. 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 Ciao.